uh, now let's implement a response status exception okay so for that purpose what i am changing that exception which i am here throwing here so it is new response status exception response status exception okay and response uh, response status exception uh, take to, uh, take two parameters basically first one is a http status which is enum and another one is the exception um, which is string okay so i need to pass a status http status okay it's a not found okay not not found okay so this is the exception i want to throw whenever someone hit with that id and if user is not found or student is not found we need to send the exception as a student not found okay so yeah we can do it but uh, let's check this enum first what kind of uh, options here so we have a uh, number of status code and status meaning okay so it is uh, yeah look at this these are the value and these are the string okay so these all kind of okay created accepted okay so means whenever you save any kind of entity you should throw this status created after that accepted if request is acceptable if something is not found you can send in 404 if someone uh, want to search something you can send 302 so these all kind of status are present inside http status enum okay so we can use it here so i am sending it not found exception but before implementing it we need to add this exception inside a control advisor okay remember we need to format our exception so this is our global exception handler okay so for that purpose i am just putting it somewhere else for next i am just copying the exception um, we already write okay lazy thing again i need to put this exception here you know what kind of changes we need to do and here if you are still confused just go to the previous video so you uh, you know it very well okay so this is what it is okay so i created response status exception handler here okay after that i need to change this because this is static and each and every time user can send new exception according to the state so re dot get we have lots of method here let's see which one work get status yeah we have http status and with the help of get value or with the help of value okay with the help of value we can get it but value return the int here so we need to convert it into the string so we have method to string or string dot value you can use whatever you want okay so i have i am using value of method and yeah that's it and put it here and now another thing that this part is again constant i need to change it okay so how i am going to change it so we have method called get status okay so which return the enum so i am getting status from re dot get status which return the http status okay this way we can format our custom exception or uh, we can format a spring boot exception now let's test it yeah okay yeah it's finish okay it finish and now i am sending 16 and look at this yeah it's good it's looking same as previous but look at this you can get exception as a status here so that's why you need to use a response status exception while sending the any kind of exception yeah i am sending some valid entry like two and i get the student yeah okay that's it thanks for watching